Here we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Here we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Here we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Here we came too far In the darkest days what up y'all playing the fake families here with pig star hh news and you're looking at a cop and his wife they're accused of either killing or letting their autistic son die it's like cps has several warnings the kid came to school in urine so clothes and hungry and the ex-wife tried to warn police they never listen my thing is this it seems like these hospitals they're picking and choosing who who has to take care of autistic kids. It seems like number one, police officers, teachers, anybody in a professional field, they'll more than likely get a child that probably has autism. I noticed this a lot. Don't you notice who else had an autistic son? Um, it's like celebrities, everybody. If they think you're doing too good, they will try to stunt your growth by pumping your newborn infant with vaccines, other medications that will probably put mercury in the body. And based on that mercury, the children are developing autism. But they know these cops have insurance that will cover it. Obama kids out and things like that. There's a lot of autistic kids out here that were basically chemically induced to it. People don't want to accept it. People want to accept everything else and praise the same system that's giving their kids autism. And it's all basically a war tactic because they'll probably be going to war with the U.S. within 20 years. They don't want you to have healthy soldiers. And you're not going to have healthy soldiers between the violence, drugs, autism, and... The chronic illnesses they giving people, people not going to be here in 50 years, like I always say. Anyway, if the video don't start when I stop talking, click the link in the description. What you heard and saw was the content. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-eager.com backslash TV. That's our planet of the fakes, too. We are the new umbrella. Planet of the fakes and pick star h h news nypd officer father fiance accused of leaving boy in freezing garage before his death a new york city police department officer and his fiance were charged in the death of his eight-year-old son accused of abusing the boy and leaving him in freezing tea temperatures in the garage center mariches new york a new york city police department officer and his fiance were charged in the death of his eight-year-old son accused of abusing the boy and leaving him in freezing temperatures in the garage Thomas Valva, a third grader who had autism, was found unresponsive at his Long Island home last Friday and was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Thomas Valva was subjected to freezing temperatures in the home's unheated garage overnight when the outside temperature was 19 degrees, police see. Commissioner Geraldine Hart said, on Friday, investigators arrested 40-year-old Michael Valva and his fiancée, 42-year-old Angela Polina, and charged them with second-degree murder. Police said Michael Valva had called 911 and said his son had fallen in driveway while waiting for the school bus and D was unconscious. When police arrived, Valva was performing CPR on Thomas in the basement. We determined Thomas was never in the driveway that morning, and he suffered head and facial injuries that were not consistent with the father's account, Hart said. Michael Valva later created a GoFundMe page to raise money for funeral costs, saying his son had died in a tragic accident, with more than $14,000 donated. That page has since been taken down. Authorities now believe the boy had been left in the garage, and they said his body temperature was just 7. 6 degrees when he got to the hospital. He also had facial and head injuries, according to officials. Police made the arrest after reviewing home security surveillance video, and prosecutors said each room of the house had a camera that was labeled. They said the camera in the garage was low to the ground and pointed toward the floor with the label, the kids' room. They said video from the two previous nights showed Thomas and his 10-year-old brother Anthony sleeping on the garage floor without pillows and blankets, shivering. Nobody did anything, the boy's mother Eustina Zuobko-Valva, said. I tried, I fought so hard to, you know, fought for justice for my children. It shouldn't get to the point that, you know, my son lost his life for somebody to do something. 
Quote, authorities said the brothers were often deprived of food and exposed to unsafe conditions. They are still investigating whether a six-year-old brother was also abused, and they are also looking into whether Child Protective Services was notified of abuse. The defense denied the accusations, calling them pure speculation and maintaining Valva's innocence. He was remanded without bail. Polina has three children, 11-year-old twins and a six-year-old, and police are investigating whether the alleged abuse extended to all children. We are going to look at every interaction that this child had with the system, and we're going to follow through and make sure we investigate every avenue, Hart said. I have been in constant contact with the commissioner of the Department of Social Services, we're working closely together to make sure we're investigating every avenue and every contact this family had with services. All five children are now at a safe location. Subscribe to Umbrella Pots channel. Like follow comment subscribe hit the ball and if you have time go to www. The unimaginable has happened in our county. The words of Suffolk's police commissioner as homicide detectives let out alleged child killer, 40-year-old Michael Valva, an NYPD transit officer. He and his fiancée, Angela Molina, have been charged with killing the cop's 8-year-old autistic son. Thomas Valva was subjected to freezing temperatures in the home's unheated garage overnight when the outside temperature was 19 degrees. Thomas was found dead this week at the couple's bittersweet lane home in Center Mariches. The father claimed a tragic accident that the child fell on the driveway waiting for the school bus. When investigators responded to the 911 call, Valva was trying to revive the lifeless body of his son. At the time of his arrival at the hospital, Thomas's body temperature was 76 degrees. CBS 2 News obtained school district reports from nurses and psychologists that Thomas and a brother came to school hungry and in urine-soaked clothing. Child Protective Services had been called to the home and a welfare check was not followed up on. I can tell you that uh, we are going to look at every interaction that this child had uh, with the system and... Uh, we're going to follow through. In the meantime, neighbors are aghast. They had contributed to the father's GoFundMe page and are now worried he will use the money for his lawyers instead of the boy's funeral. We're happy that he's been arrested and that these children will not be abused anymore. His other two sons are now with his estranged wife, Justina. She has temporary custody and said she warned authorities she was worried for their safety. Valva's fiancé, who has three daughters of her own, saw them taken away to be with her family members. Hey, what up, y'all? Planet the Fix here. 2020's coming. Brand new everything. I got a brand new Instagram. Make sure you follow it. Planet of underscore the fakes. And hey, Planet of the Fakes back again. This is just a reminder. If you have any problems accessing the videos at our site, www.more-eka.com backslash TV, more than likely it's because you're on a cell phone or tablet. All you have to do is at the top of the browser, on the right hand, it's normally three dots, you hit them, this menu comes down, hit desktop site. You have to switch from mobile view to desktop view and all the videos will pop right up for you. Any other problems, just hit us up at support at amore-eka.com. Thanks again for supporting. Alright, Planet of the Fakes here. I'd like to thank you for watching our video, but I also would like to remind you to please subscribe to our other pages. YouTube Streets, Planet of the Fakes Kids, I'm Just Nosy, Kanika Jenkins, 36 Hours, POTFS, Planet of the Kings, POTFS Battle Zone, Planet of the Fakes Extraordinary, Planet of the Fakes for Pets, Umbrella, POTFS, Planet of the Fakes, Planet of the Fakes for Families, Pigstar HH News, Planet of the Fakes.